Good Friday morning, friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this fantastic Friday. And I hope that you're having a fantastic Friday. I know that uh, I will be because I am headed to Prattville for the Disaster Relief Task Force for the state of Alabama. What a great honor and privilege it is for me to serve with that fantastic bunch of folks. But pray for me as I travel and pray for our disaster relief teams. Uh, Right now, we're not out there serving, but we're getting ready for what's coming up in the spring. But I hope that you'll have uh, time to to spend with the Word today. And uh, if so, turn with me to Colossians chapter 1, picking up in verse 26. And I want to ask you a question. How many of you like a good mystery? I know that uh, Sonia and I do. We, we love to watch some of those mysteries on television that, uh, that keep you focused on what the possibilities are. And we, we like to listen to audible books as we travel that are mysteries. And we try to figure out what the mystery, uh, the, the solving, the, the solution of the mystery is before we get to the end. Well, that's what Paul is talking about today. But this mystery is not your typical mystery. Listen to what he says, because remember, he's talking about how he had become a minister Uh, according to the stewardship from God, which was given to him for the Colossian Christians. Now, verse 26, he says that he wants to fulfill the word of God, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. Do you know what that mystery is? Uh, It's no mystery to you and I, to to those of us who are uh, believers. The mystery is the gospel, the fact that God has chosen through his divine providence to send Jesus, his son, to the earth to grow up and live a perfect life so that he could be that perfect sacrificial lamb without sin, without spot, without blemish, to die on the cross, to shed his blood as the sacrifice for our sins, paying the price for our sins, and bringing us into that reconciliation that Paul talks about earlier in this chapter between us and the Father. Because remember, we are enemies of God prior to trusting in Jesus because of our sin that separates us from God. And Jesus took care of all of that. And the mystery is that God has used this part of his plan, this plan of his to bring mankind together uh, with him, also to bring into existence one new man. And that is the church where Jews and Gentiles alike come together as the body of Christ. That is the mystery of the gospel. And and you know as well as I do, in in a time in in, in, uh, our culture when there is so much division, how hard it is to bring people together from different uh, races, from different cultures, from different religious backgrounds. I mean, let's be honest. It's hard to bring Southern Baptist churches together and uh, to have a common uh, connection and, and common goal. But God's plan is to bring all believers together, believers together, Christians together into this one body to serve him, to worship him, and to continue to reach the world. I want you to hear me this morning. When we uh, come together in heaven, (laughs) we're not going to be divided up between Baptists and Methodists and Presbyterians. All who have trusted in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their lives are going to come together as one body, worshiping him. See, these denominations, they're they're man-made, and uh, we we, we need to understand that. These uh, divisions of the churches, man-made. They're not from God. What God wants is for his people to come together to worship him and serve him. And if we could do that here on earth, man, I'm telling you, we would reach this world in a heartbeat. I'm not talking about a one world church. See, the the Bible talks about that. and That's coming in the end times where all religions come together. I'm talking about the body of Christ recognizing that we all have one common mission, and that is to spread the gospel, the mystery, the hope of salvation, to a world that is in darkness and needs to see the light of his love. Listen, I hope that you'll join us this uh, Sunday, Sunday morning at uh, 8 and 1030 for worship as we kick off our Christmas season. The sanctuary is beautifully decorated. Thank you to the ladies and their husbands who worked so hard to do that. We're going to be singing Christmas music. I'm excited about that. And we're going to be looking at what we need to do to find Christmas. 
Now, I know some of you out there are saying, well, preacher Christmas was never lost. That's true. But many of us are when it comes to Christmas. So join us and find out what that's all about and plan to be here for Sunday school too, 915. We got a class for all of our folks and hope you'll be a part of that. Love you guys. Hope to see you on Sunday. Be blessed.